Hello and welcome again to another session of Tux Tutorial Videos. This time we have part 2 of the uh, session from last time. How is data actually organized in SQL Server? And we talked last time about a page that it has 8 kilobyte size. Then we uh, form the extent that is 8 pages. And then we, uh, we found out that up to the first 8 pages are used in shared or mixed extents. And that from then on, SQL Server for one object uses a uniform extents only. So this this time we want to cover the IAM pages and how they are, uh, what they consist of. And also we want to have a small practical example in uh, Management Studio, so we can actually see in the database where we have the IAM page and what it does it actually look like. Have fun. Yeah. With that knowledge, we need to know what does an IAM actually store? So it stores, we remember we have in-row data, we had large object data and we had this uh, row overflow data. Now an IAM holds exactly one type of pages or extends better to say um, for a table. So if I have table one and I have only in-row data And let's assume we have only one partition because for each partition we have again an own IAM page. That means for table one and for in-row data we have one IAM page, okay? So this IAM covers up to four gigabytes of data. That means um, up to four gigabytes of page and extents are stored in this IAM. I, I can do the calculation um, uh, in, the, in another video why it's exactly 4 gigabyte or by the, uh, approximately 4 gigabyte but what does the IAM now contains? Okay, it contains 8 slots here 8 slots for single pages, okay? So those are the first up to the first 8 pages. They may not be used at all, maybe we start with a, a, with a fresh extent that can happen of course and sometimes you use only 2 or 3 pages before SQL Server allocates the, the in uniform extent and then keeps doing that. But the thing is we have up to 8 slots for single pages that can be the first 8 pages that we write into that object, okay? And afterwards the rest of the page is basically a pointer array to extends. So now here are all the pointers to extends that are owned by this object. And since I uh, and since you now know that we after those eight single pages we all always have uniform extends, we know that this those extends are only owned by our object here. So this is an IAM page. We have the same structure for large object data, the same thing, we will have 8 pages here and we will have an extend array here. So now SQL Server knows where this comes from. So we can also have a look at this in uh, Management Studio. Um, we have an internal sy system management view that actually sa states where for what, for what object, for what allocation unit, for what object, for what partition, we actually have the first IAM page location and uh, for cluster index is also where the root node actually is. We will have a look there in another video or maybe later in this video, I don't know. Um, so this is the thing. Um, and heap tables, to come back to our original problem, uh, are just consisting of those IAM pages. So we have in an allocation units table, system the management view, we know, okay, this is the first IAM page and then we just go for it. We just uh, scan, full table scan on a heap would be, okay, go through all those pages here and then go through all these extents, scan every page and look for our thing. So this is in no particular order, you know, and that's why a heap um, yeah, no, has no particular order because it's, it's stored in just such a way. So what happens after four gigabytes? After all this IAM page is completely used and we need some more data, another IAM page will be created the same way and actually every page in SQL Server has always a previous and the next pointer. So in this case the next IAM page will be somewhere in memory, it can be in a complete different area of your storage 
and it will be another IAM page with a header and again those eight slots and so on and so forth will be the same thing okay so of course if you uh, if this is the second AAM page for in-row data for table one for the same partition we won't have we won't use this uh, eight um, eight slots here because we already have a table that will just take uh, or allocate uniform extents from now. So this is basically the structure of a heap table and also it's the same structure for the clustered index table but the difference is okay that we won't get full table scan a clustered index by using the IAM but we will use the leftmost leave page by entering the root node and go always to the left and the leftmost data page or leave node will be taken and then we just uh, go to the right because everything is linked. I told you everything is linked in SQL Server. Every page has a, has a potential previous index pointer. So a clustered index will still use the clustered index structure, but a, a heap will just use an IAM structure. Okay. And hello and welcome in the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio where we want to prove what we just heard. So um, we have here uh, the test DB database that is basically consisting of a table called test that contains only an ID and a fixed character length uh, table. We have just um, uh, three values that we insert here. That means we just fill it up a little bit and then we have a look at the internal system, internal allocation units data base management view and also we have to join it with partitions to actually get the object ID. So basically we want to have a look and since uh, the address of the IAM page will be in hexadecimal and we can't really read it, we have this fu system function fn uh, fislog formatter that uh, formats this to get actually the address. So let's just uh, truncate the table, let's just insert some stuff and now we have a look at here and here we say see that the first page uh, that is here actually written in um, the notation that we can read so it's the first file and the 19th page so we have to put in here 90s this trace flag is uh, needed so that we see results and then we can just see here the IAM page I won't cover the buffer region because this is information on uh, where the page is in buffer right now, whether it is. Then we have the page header here with different um, attributes that I will just blend in now what they basically mean. Here is the next and the previous uh, pointer that is currently empty since this is the only IAM page because we only inserted three rows. Then we have some other stuff here, some other flags in the header that uh, I will blend in right now and f those things we will uh, discover in a later session the GAM, SJM, PFS, DIFF and ML uh, stay because they are actually uh, interesting and important and then let's just come to the AM header itself so we have here the eight slots slot 0 to slot 7 and we see here since we only have uh, three values that fit into one data page we have only slot 0 taken and the page in file 1 the 89th page holds now the, the data that we just inserted. You also see that uh, you have after the eight pages slot, single page slot, you uh, have the extent allocation slots and this is not allocated yet since we don't have filled those eight slots here. However, this was all only valid in SQL Server 2000 uh, prior 2016. So what did changed in 2016 is that you don't use by default those slots anymore but you start with uniform extents from the first page on. Um, this is the default behavior to simulate this we can just set uh, the uh, setting the property of this database to uh, it's called mixed page allocation which is default off we set it to off now again then we uh, truncate this table again we insert the rows again and we have a look where the IAM page now is headed it's at 8, eight the first uh, file 89th page and then we see here that we don't have any page allocated a single page but we start right away from an extend at position first file page 3392 so this is a different behavior um, 
that started with SQL Server 2016. So we start from Uniform Extends now. So basically what I said in the previous video was not correct for the uh, for the release that came out just a few days ago. However, we just want to see another thing because I had a, in this database HeapDB, a heap test table that has more than four, four gigabytes of data. And if you now here look here at uh, the IAM page, then we can see here in the next link that we have here 141. And if we put here 41, then we see that this is also an IAM page that don't does not even have those um, eight slots dis, uh, displayed here but it starts right away with an extent so this is um, basically it for this session you know now what an IAM page is and in the next session we will cover GAM SJM and maybe even PFS pages so stay tuned for part three and have a nice evening